All right, Pisces, let's do another reading. Let's see what energy Pisces, my Pisces Collective, can expect for the end of February. Messages for Pisces for the end of February. <clears throat> this is just going to be whatever comes out. So let's see. Messages, please, for Pisces for the end of February. What do we have for Pisces? I'll be using the Energy Oracle. All right, messages please for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. For the end of February, so what, we got like six days left for Pisces. End of February. Happy birthday, Pisces, to all my first Deccan Pisces. So we have 5th Chakra, Archangel Gabriel, 3rd Chakra, Archangel Samuel. Okay, so your life force energy, your creativity. Um, a lot of you guys are speaking up. <clears throat> um, I heard speaking with conviction, so whatever that means to you. Um, a lot of you guys are using your creativity, being with being creative with how you communicate. Yeah, the thinking woman. I was about to say being cre creative with how you think as well. And then the thinking woman came out. I, I refrained myself because I was like, no, the throat chakra is not about thought. It's about, you know, speaking. But the thinking woman came out anyway. So thought. There you go. Food for thought. The world. Some of you guys um, are taking action, stepping out into the world, claiming your, putting your thought into action. Thank you. Yeah, creativity. I like it. All right, Pisces. Man or woman, doesn't matter, guys. Don't get hung up on the gender. <clears throat> woman holding a heart. There is a lot of feminine energy here, though. So masculines, this could be used uh, tapping into your more feminine side. Damn. All right, Pisces. Okay, so you got the angel of love, you got the man holding a heart, you got the woman holding a heart. Like some of you guys may be coming into union. Love is in the air. Okay. Some of you guys could be teachers with this thinking woman, someone who's very thoughtful. Someone may be also thinking of you or you could be thinking of somebody. Someone may be thinking of creative ways to, to like speak up, to speak some type of truth or to speak to you in general. This could be someone who's foreign or at a distance or someone who has been distant from you. Okay, Pisces. Let's get a few oracles. What, what else does Pisces need to know? Some of you guys are coming into union with someone who's thoughtful, caring, helpful, loving, compassionate. Someone who matches your energy. Okay, someone's about to speak up and I feel like they're going to do it in a creative way. <clears throat> Or you're going to speak up to someone and do so in a creative way. Let's see. Some of you guys may be doing something like traveling, doing something on the World Wide Web. All right. Two more, please. For Pisces, what do they need to know for the end of February? We have growth. Yeah. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. A lot of you guys have... You guys are coming into union with someone because I feel like you guys have like the judgment card kept coming out in like your previous readings today. So again, it's like learning karmic lessons, learning from past situations, taking the knowledge that you've learned and applying it forward, not falling back into the same old cycles of things. You guys have been growing, expanding. Okay. Learning with this thinking woman. Acceptance. I am, I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. Exactly. It's like, you guys have learned from things, you know, learn to accept things. I can't change a situation, but I can. Uh, the only thing that you can change is what you do moving forward, right? So learning to accept things and surrender. Yes, I, I, I can release my need to control. Yeah, I can release my need to control. So yeah, some of you guys are like letting go of control and that's what's bringing in love. Um, you guys are getting creative. 
<clears throat> health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul and love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Damn, Pisces, this is beautiful. Some of you guys have been working on your health, you know, eating better, uh, choosing healthier lifestyles, which is also good for your mental health, your physical health. Some of you guys may have been working out. Uh, courage, you know, finding the inner strength and courage to face fear, letting go of things that you know are no longer good for you or releasing the need to try and control a situation. What is meant for you will always be. What is not meant for you will always be, you know, taken away. And sometimes we lose things that we don't want. You know, it. sometimes we lose things that we don't really, at the time, we don't want to lose. But later on, we realize that it was for the better. Um, sometimes we hold on to things that, um, we may like a certain aspect of, but God will remove those things and put you in alignment with something better. Sometimes we don't see that until we actually, you know, come encounter with something better, which is this angel of love, this woman holding a heart and a man holding a heart, two people who match each other's vibration. Okay. You may meet this person while traveling. You may also meet them on the internet or um, or they could be foreign. Yeah, you could be speaking to this person over the internet or. OK, let's move on. So in regards to love, actually, I'm going to pull from here. Can we get three messages for Pisces since this is uh, looking like a love connection? Uh, surrender. Yeah. And you got surrender right here too. You got surrender twice. So a lot of you guys are surrendering to the divine, surrendering to your higher self, accepting things, uh, learning to grow and expand. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. Dun, 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 dun. Damn. Exactly what I just said. Sometimes we have to let go of the old, uh, before something new can enter our lives. Letting go and it will all work out. Let go and all will work out. So if you guys haven't let go of something, now would be the time because you guys have something better that's in alignment with you that's coming in. Okay. I feel like you guys are accepting the things that you cannot change. Um, and I also feel, holy shit. Okay. I also feel that just messed me up. Um, someone, okay. Uh, I heard that someone was thinking of you this very moment. So whenever you're watching this reading, you hear this message, someone is thinking of you this very moment. We also have twin flames. Uh, your passion is ignited. So some of you guys may be, you know, part of the 144,000. Uh, you know, you may have a twin coming in or someone. This again is like, even if it's not like an actual twin flame, this is someone who matches your energy. The woman holding a heart and man holding a heart. It's not the man holding a coin and woman holding a heart. It's two people who uh, are on each other, like mirroring each other's energy. Someone who will give to you as much as you give to them. Someone who's, who will support you emotionally, health-wise. Someone who is good for you, for mind, body, and soul, right? Mm -mm -mm. Can I get one more? If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. I was going to say that too with this angel of love. I was like, you know, when I said the man holding a coin and woman holding a heart, it's like love is the gateway. Uh, so whatever this is, instead of looking at, and I'm not saying you are, but, you know, I'm thinking of like the Cinderella movie, you know, when the evil stepmom or whatever is like, you must find a man that has money and blah, 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 you know? And it's like, I guess back in the day, that's how maybe it was done. I don't really know because I wasn't around, but um, that doesn't match society nowadays, you know? But some people still think like that. Anyways, when you choose to lead with love, this angel of love here, um, if you could do anything, what would it be? It dwells in your heart, not in your mind. Okay. Um, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. This is crazy. 
Y'all have a beautiful freaking connection coming in. And it all starts with you surrendering. You choosing to learn um, from karmic lessons, past, past experiences, learning to accept certain things you cannot change. Even if you, no matter how bad you may have wished something to change, it's like understanding that everything happens for a reason. You know, there's certain things that we have to let go of in life that we don't really want to or whatever, but sometimes we know that God has a plan or when you surrender to the divine and you know that there's a higher purpose, I feel like that was a lesson here for someone. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Yes. Ooh. And that's what I was feeling too. It's like, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. Someone is thinking of you this very moment. My love for you is deep as the ocean. Okay. That shit got me grinning. You got me grinning from ear to ear. Okay. That's not same. Let's get a couple cards from the Moonology deck. <clears throat> what else do you want to tell Pisces? What else do you want to tell Pisces? Y'all are about to come into union with someone. This is for the end of February. So I, you guys could be meeting this person around your birthday or, you know, during Pisces season. This could also, for some of you guys, be another water sign. It doesn't have to be, though. All right, or Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus could be a fixed sign. Possible air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Cool. So don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. Okay, what else do you want to tell Pisces? Your dreams need a practical plan. Excuse me, full moon in Taurus. Okay. So what did we have earlier? We had that action card. Some of you guys are putting... Your plans into action. Your dreams need a practical plan. So I always, whenever I get that message, it's like I always think of like writing like a vision board. And, you know, some people don't get into that type of thing, but it's actually very beneficial. It doesn't have to be like a big fancy board and, you know, whatever. It could just be a piece of paper, but writing down like, what do you want your angle? Where do you see yourself in five years? And then branch off of that, like, okay, what is what is logical? How can I get there? What do I need? What do I need to achieve? What do I need to obtain? What do I need to work on? Um, what are my strengths? What are my weaknesses? You know, writing down certain things so that you can overcome those obstacles and get to that end goal. <clears throat> I'm also hearing, you know, like letting your life ramble aimlessly. If you don't do something like that, a lot of us can tend to like spin our wheels or... You know, uh, we could get further creating a vision board or like some type of a strategy or plan. Uh, a fiery climax approaches full moon and Aries. Yeah, shit's about to get hot here, Pisces. Have faith in your dreams. Yeah. And a personal issue reaches a resolution. Waxing crescent moon and full moon and cancer. A personal issue reaches a resolution. So whatever that is to you, balance spirituality and practicality. Full moon and Pisces. <clears throat> okay so be practical also surrender to the divine but don't be like oh i'm gonna quit my job tomorrow because i know god got my back don't be like that okay but think make be practical but also have faith that there's something if that is something you want you want to get out of your job or start something new a new career or something be practical about it don't just be like with that um Balancing spirituality and practicality, it's like there needs to be an equal balance. Don't don't be like overly faithful that you sabotage yourself. And it's like also be logical. Okay, so what do I do? What do I need to do to get out of this job and start something new? Write yourself a plan. Don't just like it's good to have faith, but don't be dumb. Okay, or don't be naive. Don't be silly. Be silly. Go dumb, dumb. Them. Don't do that. Okay. So let's see. Additional messages, please, for Pisces. Three cards, please. What else does Pisces need to know? Y'all be sure to hit that like button if this message res resonates with you. 
um, or gives you any hope, guidance, inspiration, or clarity. Uh, so we got Horus, the cosmic gateway. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. So pay attention to your thoughts. Don't manifest. Don't try, try to cut out the negative self-talk or whatever it is. Or, oh, I don't have enough to do this, so I'm not going to do that. Or, um, you know, be like, no, I've got enough to do this. How, how's that song go? Oh, I don't know. I'm thinking of what is that? Flow rider? I don't even know. Um, I can go pay my bills this month. I don't know. I forgot. But um, pay attention to your thoughts. Your thoughts are powerful. You also have Isis. Magic manifesting your dreams, your visions, and your goals, Pisces, are becoming reality. Stay focused. Okay, you guys are manifesting some type of magic in your life. And then you have Saint Germain. Karma releasing, move beyond dark drama, create your own path and make room for good energy. Yeah, it's like three of pentacles is what I'm seeing with this. Teamwork, create your um, create your own path, make room for good energy, move beyond drama, letting go of the things that you cannot change, surrendering to the divine, um, letting go of certain things that, you know, aren't aiding in your forward movement, make, make room for better things. Okay, your thoughts um, are very powerful and magnetic at this time. There is changes right around the corner. Your dreams, uh, visions, and goals are going to be becoming reality. So stay focused on those, okay, Pisces? And for all of you guys, it's going to be different. So let's get some advice for Pisces. Oh, my gosh. Can we get three or four cards of advice for Pisces. What messages do you have for Pisces? What messages do you have for Pisces advice? Romance. I'm trying to tell you. It's about to get hot. And within the next few months. Okay, so for some of you guys, it could be within the next few months, but you got romance coming out. I'm trying to tell you, you got angel of love here. You got romance, woman and man holding the cart. Okay, this could also be someone that you meet in your community as well. Um, like someone you meet locally. So big happy changes and there is something better. Yeah, so surrendering, knowing that there is something better. What is not meant for you will always, you know, be taken away or it will be difficult. Love isn't Love isn't meant to be hard. Okay, if you have to fight and fight and fight for something or try, you know, fight for someone to change and fight to make something work, it's because, you know, it's trying to be removed from your life and you're fighting it. You're fighting that change. Big happy changes. There's big happy changes right around the corner. There is something but uh Okay, within this next few months, it's time for you to make that change. If you haven't done so, you need to do so. What oh, was on the bottom of the deck? Ask your angels and communicate clearly. So some of you guys need to... Uh, I don't, you know, if you guys pray or whatever you do, meditate uh, within the next few weeks to the next few months. Um, you guys need to be communicating clearly, asking your angels. Don't be like, please send me a loving, caring man. Because, you know, you got to be specific with what you ask for. You know that saying, uh, be careful what you wish for. It's like sometimes you ask for a caring loving man but it's like then you find out he's like very loving to like 20 different people or she is you know an hoe okay or whatnot you know so it's like be careful be be uh communicate clearly what it is you want you know i want a partner who i can trust who you know um you know makes me feel confident i mean no one can really make you feel confident you you have to do that yourself, but someone who may, won't make you feel insecure, there we go, or someone who, who is supportive, someone who is loving, someone who is faithful, someone who is honest, someone who communicates clearly, someone who, who likes to cook because I hate cooking or not me, but you know, just whatever it is, you know, ask for what you want because you know, the divine can't send you. If you just say, I want, I want new love. Okay, here you go. Here's some new love. Want to try a karmic lover? Let's see if you learned your lessons and you're like, what the hell? Why do I keep, you know, be specific as to what it is that you want, Pisces. And don't be um, 
And if you don't get something that you ask for, still be appreciative for it because you've asked for it. So when you ask God or ask the divine or your angels or whatever for something and then you turn it away because, oh, he has red hair and not brown hair or some shit like that. It's like it's kind of like slapping God in the face, you know, love. Love doesn't come. Love isn't color, you know, or love isn't uh, weight or love isn't um, height or, you know, if you want someone that's taller than you or you want someone that's shorter than you, say that, you know, or ask for that. But <clears throat> don't be, you know, I want them to come with brown hair, skinny, blue eyes, and then they come with brown eyes, but they meet everything else to so say push them away. No, you're about to, that's slapping God in the face and, you know, that's creating bad karma for yourself. Anyways, let's get a few fortune cookie cards. I hope I'm making this clear. All right, so, okay. Ch challenges. Time. Take time out from problems or conflicts. Approach softly to avoid making matters worse. Uh, we did have that personal issue, reaches a resolution. Um, reinvent yourself. A transformation is taking place. Enjoy a new lease on life. And I've seen a transformation card somewhere. Um, I don't know where it went, but I did see it earlier. Uh, manifestations a bountiful time awaits you your wishes could manifest right before your eyes yeah yeah so you guys got some good stuff coming in um balance and you know, with that balance practicality and spirituality so kind of goes hand in hand with what i was just saying about the you know what you're, whatever it is that you're manifesting be specific, write, you know, and I'm not necessarily speaking about people because I feel like, I don't know, I guess that's just something I never, I don't know. I never personally tried to like manifest a person. I've manifested lots of things, but I've never manifested a person. To me, I kind of feel like that's bending someone's free will. God will send me who, who he feels is right in my life and I'm not going to force it. <laughs> that's how I feel. But, uh, you know, I know there's a lot of you guys who I've talked to and who have done that. So, you know, whatever your prerogative is. But for me, um, it's just not really a thing, you know. But if you're trying to manifest a new home, <laughs> like that Redfin commercial, it's like, oh, we can make the kitchen work. Why would you make it work when you can pick out what you want or whatever? You know, so it's like, write down what you want. I want a kitchen with lots of storage. I want a dishwasher. I want this. I want that. You know, tell, tell, tell the universe what it, what it is that you want. Or tell them what you're going to have. Shit. Tell the universe. Be like, I don't, it's not that I want these things. Because one thing I've learned is the universe always answers yes. So if you're like, I want these, the universe is like, yes, you do. Yes, you do. If you're like, I have a house with a big patio, a big yard. That's fenced for my kids, for my dog. The universe is like, yeah, you do. And you're manifesting that, you know? So if that helps you in, with your thoughts, with this thinking woman, if that analogy of the universe always answers yes, that's a good way to pay attention to your thoughts. So if you're like, oh, uh, that's, I don't have this, or I don't think I can get approved for this loan, the universe is like, yeah, I don't think you can get approved for that loan. You know, so always uh, uh, when manifesting, always um, speak it into existence. OK. All right, Pisces. So I hope that gave you guys some clarity moving forward, some excitement. OK, you guys are about to get creative or someone's going to be very creative with. Um, with how they how they think and how they speak. Or this is you. All right, so I'm going to leave this reading here. I love you guys so much. Happy birthday. Until next time. Peace.